Hello everybody, so here's another new demo and today I thought I would show you how to use, um, it's a very simple way to use some watercolours to create a very sort of uh, soft washed out background for a greeting card and so um, I'll go through the materials that I'm going to use today. Uh, the first thing is I get the uh, Strathmore uh, watercolour cards, they're super thick and I think this is uh, 4x6 or 5x7, actually I think it's 5x7. So this is a quite, you know, it's a fairly large card. And the watercolours that I'm going to use, I just love these. Um, they're the Koi watercolours and uh, Joel bought me these for my birthday last year and I love them. And I love them because they are so compact and let me show you the sweet little thing that they come in. So this is the tray. Oops. So it, it closes like this, it's you know easy to travel with. It comes with a water brush. I'll show you how we're going to use the water brush in case you haven't used one of those before. It comes with some little sponges at the edges so you know you can clean your brush. And then it also comes with an, um, a little palette. As you can see, I don't clean my palette because I can re-wet the watercolours and use them again. So that's going to be the first layer of the card. The second layer of the card will be rubber stamping and then the third layer of the card will be some collage images and then maybe some more rubber stamping but we'll see. Um, okay so I'm going to go with kind of a watery earthy feel <laughs> for my background so I'm just going to adjust myself just a little bit here so I can get the card on an angle that you can see better. I'm going to move these out of the way. All right. So, in case you haven't used uh, a water brush before, you, you basically fill it with water and you'll see, I don't know, maybe here it says push and you push very gently and when you push that it brings the water out. So I'm going to show you, see? And that's actually how you will go and pick up the colour of the palette. Just make my hand dry that. <laughs> okay, so the first colour that I'm going to go for... Excuse me one second. I'm going to go for some greens and so I'll bring this over so you can see. I have like an emerald green and a lime green and an olive green here. So I'm actually going to mix the emerald and the lime together. I'm going to pop these just over here. I'm just going to, and this is very, very random. I mean, it doesn't have to, you know, look neat and tidy. I think that's why I love watercolours because they're going to do what they're going to do. I love how they spread across the paper and I know this looks really light but it is just a very simple um, layer that I don't want to be too bold. And I'm just going to put a little bit of mixed bit of olive in here and go over the colour before because then they blend together and you don't get a harsh line. Let's see. Okay and then I'm going to get a little more olive green here. Okay, and then the next colour I think I'm going to go for, but I'll, I'll quickly clean my brush, I'm not too anal about it to be honest. Um, the next one will be kind of, I'm going to go for like a terracotta, sort of an umber colour, So, and I know this is, is this is pretty bold, this colour, so I'll need to, you can't really see me doing that over here, so I'll bring it over, so I'm just going to put it on my palette here, and make it really really watery and then dab my brush a little bit and don't worry if you get too much water on your card because we're going to blot this and it will take any excess uh, stuff water that's the stuff and it's going to put a little more umber in there not umber well I don't know if it's umber or terracotta I haven't read the color names okay then the next one I'm going to do is sort of a yellowy, greeny, we'll see. Mm, that's a bit too yellow. Oh, maybe like an orangey yellow. Mix the orange and the yellow together. Let's see what happens. Sorry, I'm over at my palette here. Oh, that's very bright, but that's okay. We can water that down a little more. So I'm going to squeeze on my brush very slightly. <gasps> yes, there we go. That's what I want. And you see what I love here, actually, is I love how the edges just sort of disappear. I don't know. There's just something really 
organic and natural about the way these watercolours Oops, little cat hair Ah, Dibley You get into everything, don't you? <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to finish off the bottom here with a little more green So I'm going to again go into my kind of emerald and lime And just as you... And I'm going to get a little more Oh, now then the emerald mixed in a little bit with the terracotta there. That's okay. I don't mind that. Very, very, very simple. So when you've got the look that you're going for, and actually that looks good to me. It's pretty central on the card. I'm not normally to centred stuff, but on this I am. I am going to take some uh, paper towel, tear it up a little bit, and then I'm going to blot and you'll see what happens here you you think this is this is um, not very bold now <laughs> it won't be in a minute and I just and I don't want to do the edges because I like the look of the edges there so this is just gently tapping and it just gives you that really soft washed out Oh, another cat hair, come on. <laughs> okay, so you see how that's pretty subtle. Now what I'm going to do is very quickly dry that with a heat gun. Very, very quickly, not too much. Just so I can get it dry enough for me to stamp on. So I'm going to zap it with a little heat here. And you'll find that your card will buckle a little bit, but then as it cools down and it dries, it will go back to normal. So don't worry about that. nice and dry. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is, is stamp a collage image in the middle and I bet you can't guess which one I'm going to use. Yes, yeah, my trusty postcard stamp. I don't know why I have a thing about this stamp. And I'm going to use <laughs> my VersaFine Onyx Black. So I'm going to just tap on the ink here. And again, I'm going to do Fairly central. Shall I do it central? I'm going to do it up in the corner a little bit here, so not quite as central as I thought I would. Oh, yes, I like that. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is put a collage image on here, and I've chosen to go with kind of a Parisian theme because I've already cut one image out of here, but this is one of my new collage sheets and it is um, vintage French water scenes. They were vintage, or actually antique, uh, French photos and I altered them like crazy and I turned them into very painterly looking images and I thought that would be perfect to put on this card. So I'm going to pick one of my images out now. Let's see, which one should we go for? I'm going to make this for my hubby and he loves ships. So I'm going to, well, most of these have ships on them. I think I'm going to go for this one right here. I'm just going to roughly cut this out and then I'll trim it even more. Okay. So, I'm not being very precise with my scissors, but then I'm not really too anal about super straight lines. I mean, I like them to be fairly straight, but they don't have to be. Tremendously straight there. That just needs trimming a little bit more. There's a little too much white on the edge. There we go. I want to leave some of that black edging on there because I really like that. And if it's too white, I can go over the edge with my VersaFine, which I might actually do because that does add that finishing touch to an image. Okay. Move my little bits aside here. In fact, let me just go over the edge of the image, just to take that white away there. It's amazing how finished it makes an image look when you do this. So funny. Okay. So I'm going to pop this down here, I think. scotch tape <laughs> love this double sided sticky tape so good so I'm just going to pop that on here 
try and keep it within the lines of the water colouring itself. And as you can see, I've covered up a lot of the postcard image, but you know that's okay because it's just there for extra oomph anyway. So the next thing I'm going to do, I feel like it just needs a little something extra, and I think I may have shown you this before, but I love the Cavallini um, rubber stamp sets, and this is the Paris set. And I'll open it and you can see, look at those absolutely just stunning gorgeous stamps. So I'm going to pick, hmm, ooh golly, well I like the, um, the postmark there, although we have a postmark on there already so maybe, maybe I'll go for one that says Paris and one that says Bonjour. So bonjour Paris. Yes, we'll do that. So I think what I'm going to do is take my uh, my Versafine again and tap. These are very small stamps. So I'm going to put bonjour right on the image here, I think. Excuse my hands. Bonjour. And do I need Perry on there? Maybe, actually, I don't know if I do. I think I'll leave that because I quite like just having the bonjour on there. <laughs> okay, so then when you're done, you can fold your card and I'm just going to gently there we go. Oh, I actually really like how that came out. I wasn't sure when it was when I was first doing it. So there you go. Your Bonjour, watercoloured, collaged, stamped, <laughs> mixed media greeting card. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. It's been a while since I've used my paint, so thank you so much for watching, and I will be back again with another demo pretty soon. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.